important dates that have just been announced by top lawmakers. There are new possible delivery dates for the next round of stimulus checks. The federal government is also preparing for an initial boost in, extent, in enhanced monthly benefits. Food banks are preparing for an additional spike in demand as the federal crisis now benefits are set to expire. Since the start of the crisis, families on food stamps have been able to receive the maximum benefit allowed for the household size. Food banks have already seen an increase in demand in recent months. According to officials, there was 10 million pounds of food sent to its food pantries last month, more than any other time in the crisis. Now, the amount each family monthly benefits will decline in June will vary based on household size, income, and allowable deductions. Now, the Midwest Food Bank is planning additional pop distributions in anticipation of the increased demand. And there is indeed some new stimulus checks that will be going out this year. Congress has already passed generous enhanced crisis unemployment benefits, which kept many businesses households afloat. And those benefits were extended in 2020 and again in 2021, but now have ceased, being seen by some of the reason being seen by some as the reason behind a severe labor shortage in the nation. Economists and lawmakers are determined to get more stimulus money passed, and since late August, the Golden State Stimulus Program has already issued more than 8.2 million checks in direct deposits valued over $5.9 billion. It's from Governor Gavin Newsom. Early in the program, most of the stimulus checks were distributed by direct deposit for residents who follow their 2020 taxes electronically. Good to be here at uh, uh, Germana School. And by the way, uh, Abigail, if I want to know anything about community colleges in Virginia, I go to my wife. She teaches full time and has for the last nine years. She's in the classroom now at, at uh, the community college in Northern Virginia, Northern Virginia Community College. And she says, she says, you know, the single best kept secret in America is community colleges. And it really is. They are so flexible, they can do so much, so much. And if I had more time, which I don't, for all of you, I'd, I'd go into what we're going to try to do to increase the flexibility and the funding of community colleges for people. But it's great to be here with Abigail, with Congresswoman Spanberger. And Higher used cars, you laid it all out just perfectly before. Um, apparel prices are up, even airline fares are up. I thought maybe there'd be a little relief, and there was just a little, from the Omicron wave maybe reducing, and it did. Uh, 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 hotel prices came down a little bit, but that could come back. And so the problem that we have here is that there's a series of, uh, of events that have uh, led to higher prices. When people uh, call in sick because of uh, having the virus, it reduces the supply of goods. Folks, Senator Manchin has just announced that all elements of President Biden's massive spending bill must go through the committee process. This actually might speed back, this actually might hold back our stimulus payments if President Biden doesn't do something about this. But, but luckily, Joe Biden does want to send out stimulus payments this year. So we have some breaking news to go over about in this video. Joe Manchin said that elements from the Democrats spending and climate package must go through the committee process if the Democratic Party wants to pass relief provisions from the bill. Manchin's statement today is a sign that negotiations are moving forward on Biden's Build Back Better bill. And when asked by CNN if the Build Back Better bill will pass soon, Manchin said that many elements from the stimulus package could be signed into law this year of 2022. So one important thing to note, friends, is that Joe Manchin did say that he would like to think that Dem Democrats and Republicans support the bill. Manchin told CNN that those initiatives must be considered by other members of both parties. Joe Manchin said, and I quote, I think the president said there might be certain parts and this and that, and we will continue to move forward. During his CNN interview, Jen, Senator Manchin has also signaled to the GOP counterparts like Alaska senators by emphasizing that they would have the opportunity to weigh in on the bill. Manchin said, whether Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski votes for it or not, being a Republican, she should have at least the opportunity to have input. It should have gone through the committee. And these are major changes, and it is going to change society as we know, he said. And those changes, there should be a hearing. That's what Manchin said, everybody. So Manchin's comments comes as Democrats work to pass part of the spending bill and climate package. Joe Biden said last month that it is likely they're going to have to probably break the bill up into sections. Nancy Pelosi has also made a big recent announcement. She said that Democrats need to rebrand the spending package and change it up, telling reporters what the president calls chunks would hope to be a we hope to be a major bill going forward and is still significant. The House Democrats, at least, are now pushing for more action on the climate, health, and education provisions in a package. And this emphasizing, therefore emphasizing that the longer the party takes to act, the more difficult it will be to pass such provisions. 
It is Democrats' top priorities to get the bill passed as soon as possible. It is likely we will see the bill pass in the House as soon as this month of February. And Biden's current framework for the Build Back Better includes $400 billion for child care and preschool through programs funded for six years. In addition to expanding across to universal preschool for all three and four-year-olds, the plan also limits child care costs for some families to no more than 7% of income. Parents must adhere to work requirements to qualify for this. This heavily debated provision would expand Medicare to cover hearing services, but the framework eliminated a proposal for Manchin to include dental and vision benefits too. A key priority for Bernie Sanders, but Manchin believes the program's solvency should be addressed before it is expanded. Democrats expanded the child tax credit in for, 20, for 2021 in their $1.9 trillion relief bill and wanted to extend it through 2025, but Biden's updated framework extends the child tax credit for another year just this year. So what do you think about Santa Manchin and Joe Biden, everybody? Tell me in the comments down below. Who is to blame for holding back our stimulus payments? If you live on tribal lands, that voucher will lower your bill by $75 a month. The Affordable Connectivity Program also gives eligible households a one-time discount of up to $100 to purchase a laptop, desktop computer, or tablet. So today I am proud to announce that already more than 10 million American households have signed up for the Affordable Connectivity Program. That's great. Well, thanks to you all. And yes, it is an historic accomplishment. This milestone means more entrepreneurs are building digital businesses. More families are staying connected. More children in our country are able to do their homework at home. And this is only the beginning. If you are eligible to receive affordable broadband support, or even if you think you might be eligible, please call the number on the screen or visit, I'm gonna give you a website, acpbenefit.gov. And there you can confirm whether you qualify, sign up for benefits, and learn how to redeem your voucher. To make sure everyone knows this program is available, we are working with state and local governments to inform people that they are eligible. We are working with community and faith-based organizations to help people fill out their applications. And we are calling on all internet service providers to participate meaningfully in this program to offer more affordable, high-speed plans to customers and to spread the word to all el eligible households. This will take all of us working together. And so I'll conclude with this. When we connect families and workers, students and small business owners with high-speed internet, we connect them to opportunity. The opportunity to work and learn remotely to see a doctor online